joining the colors by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. West Kent's Dublin, August 1914. There they go, marching, all in step so gay, smooth cheeked and golden, food for shells and guns. Blithely they go as to a wedding day the mother's sons the drab street stares to see them row on row on the high tram tops singing like the lark too careless gay for courage singing they go into the dark with tin whistles mouth organs any noise they pipe the way to glory and the grave foolish and young the gay and golden boys love cannot save high heart high courage the poor girls they kissed run with them they shall kiss no more alas out of the mist they stepped into the mist singing they pass and a poem this recording is in the public domain the lowlands of flanders an old song resung by katherine tynan hickson Read for LibriVox.org by Drew Conway, 21st of November, 2016, Kent. The night that I was married, our captain came to me. Rise up, rise up, new married man, and come at once with me. For the lowlands of Flanders, it's there that we must fight. So look your last, and bust your last. For we shall sail tonight. Tis all for our country, and for our king we go, to the lowlands of Flanders against the German foe. The girl that weds a soldier must never blench for fear. I kissed my last and looked my last upon my lovely dear. The lowlands of Flanders, their rivers run so red. But I must say goodbye, my dear, my only dear, I said. For now I must go sailing upon the stormy main. Goodbye, goodbye, my only love, till I shall come home again. I put her white arms from me, her cheek was cold as clay. The night that I was married, no longer I might stay. Our bugles they are blowing, and I must sail the sea for the lowlands of Flanders betwixt my love and me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Call by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. I hear an army, millions of men, coming up from the edge of the world, the ring of unnumbered feet ever louder and louder, comes on and on like a mighty untamable tide, steady, implacable, out of the north and the south, out of the east and the west, they answer the call of her who stands her eyes towards god and the stars liberty daughter of god calling her men what manner of men are these like the desert sands uncounted many as locusts darkening the sky white men black men men of the tawny gold golden-eyed like the lion sons of the sun men from the snow their eyes like frost or a sword 
they have but one heart one desire they run one way hurrying hurrying to the shrill trumpet call men from the ice flows men from the jungles come this from the arms of his bride that from his dead men from the plough the mart the mill and the street they run they are heroes the fire fuses them all head uplifted and proud like heroes they step singing their battle song in the troubled dawn of the day of liberty flaming torch of the world i hear an army end of poem this recording is in the public domain the golden boy by Catherine Tynan Hinkson, read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. In times of peace, so clean and bright, and with a new washed morning face, he walked pall mall, a goodly sight, the finished flower of all the race. Or through Bond Street and Piccadilly went spick and span without a soil, as careless as the July lily that spins not neither does she toil he took his soldiering as sport and beauteous in his mufti stirred romance in the simple female sort that loves a guardsman or a lord and now knee-deep in muddy water unwashed unshaven see him go his garments stained with mud and slaughter would break the heart of savile row the dangers in his blood like wine the old heroic passion leaps the son of the mighty fighting line goes glad whatever woman weeps he plays the game winning or losing as in the playing fields at home this picnic's nothing of his choosing but since it started let it come he lives his hour with keenest zest and midst the flying death he spares a laugh to the light heart schoolboy jest mingled with curses and with prayers gay as at eton or at harrow counts battles as by goals and runs god keep him from death's flying arrow to give his england fighting sons end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Great Chance by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King Now strikes the hour upon the clock The black sheep may rebuild the years May lift the father's pride he broke And wipe away his mother's tears To him the mark for thrifty scorn God hath another chance to give sets in his heart a flame new-born by which his muddied soul may live this is the day of the prodigal the decent people's shame and grief when he shall make amends for all the way to glory is bloody and brief clean from his baptism of blood new from the fire he springs again in shining raiment white and good beyond the wise home-keeping man somewhere to-night no tears be shed with shaking hands they turn the sheet to find his name among the dead flower of the army and the fleet they tell with proud and stricken face of his white boyhood far away who talked of trouble or disgrace our splendid son is dead, they say. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Watchers by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk 
the cottages all lie asleep the sheep and lambs are folded in winged sentinels the vale will keep until the hours of life begin the children with their prayers all said sleep until cockcrow shall awake the gardens in their gold and red and robins in the bush and brake the fields of harvest golden white the fields of pasture rich and green sleep on nor fear the kindly night the watching mountains set between the river sings its sleepy song naught stirs the wakeful owl beside our peace is builded sure and strong no evil beast can creep inside st patrick and st bridget hold the veil its little houses all while men-at-arms in white and gold glide swiftly by the outer wall st brendan and st kevin pluck the robes of god that he may hear and column keep the irish flock that no shame or sin come near what news of belgian folk to-day how fair the village and the town o oh, belgium's all on fire they say and all her towers are toppling down what are her angels doing then and are the belgian saints asleep that in this night of dool and pain the belgians mourn the belgians weep End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Bride by Catherine Tynan Hickson. Read for LibriVox.org by Drew Conway. 21st of November, 2016, Kent. We've me no wreath of orange blossom. No bridal white shall me adorn. I wear a red rose in my bosom. Tomorrow I shall wear the thorn. Bring me no gauds to deck my beauty. Put by the jewels and the lace. My love to honour and to duty was plighted ere he saw my face. I hear his impatient charger neighing. I hear the trumpets blow afar. His comrades ride as to a maying, jesting and splendid to the war. Why is my mother weeping? Why is my father grieved sore? O oh, love, God have you in his keeping, the day you leave your true love's door. Gay is the golden harvest spreading, the orchards all in rose and gold. Who said it was a mournful wedding? My hand in yours, love is not cold. Go glad and gay to meet the foeman. I love you to my latest breath. O oh, love, there is no happier woman. See, I'm smiling. Love till death. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Riders by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Reams is down in fire and smoke The hour of God is at the stroke Round and round the ruined place Jesu, Mary, give us grace There are two riders clad in mail silver as the moon pale one is tall as a knight's spear the younger one is lowlier small and slim and like a maid steeds and riders cast no shade 
who are then these cavaliers there was a sound as heaven dropped tears who are these that ride so light soundless in the flaming light where reims burns that was given by france to mary queen of heaven oh our reims our reims is down naught is left of her renown hist what sound is in the breeze like the sighing of forest trees or a great wind or an army or the waves of the wild sea the tall knight rides fierce and fast to the sound of a trumpet blast the little knight in fire and flame slender and soft as a dame rides and is not far behind his long hair floats on the wind and ever the tramp of chivalry comes like the sound of the sea this is michael rides abroad prince of the army of god and this like a lily arrayed is joan the blessed maid reims is down in fire and smoke and the hour of gods at the stroke end of poem this recording is in the public domain what turned the germans back by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk what turned the german myriads back from paris whither they had won the sword dropped from their hold grown slack children of attila the hun like attila went backward driven by a young shepherdess of heaven a shepherdess is genevieve and though her flock should wander light this shepherdess is quick to save the black the speckled and the white she takes her golden crook and goes and deals destruction to its foes she who turned attila back so slim a shepherdess that keeps the flock waited as once she did for him slight as a reed or her own crook turn back in god's name they went back the tide is stemmed for her sweet sake white genevieve upon her hill prays and the german hosts retreat she plucks the robes of heaven still that heaven give victory for defeat and keeps her motley flock in sight the black the speckled and the white end of poem this recording is in the public domain a girl song by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk the muse and marne have little waves the slender poplars o'er them lean one day they will forget the graves that give the grass its living green some brown french girl the rose will wear that springs above his comely head will twine it in her russet hair nor wonder why it is so red his blood is in the rose's veins his hair is in the yellow corn my grief is in the weeping rains and in the keening wind forlorn flow softly softly marn and muse tread lightly all ye browsing sheep fall tenderly o silver dews for here my dear love lies asleep the earth is on his sealed eyes the beauty marred that was my pride would i were lying where he lies and sleeping sweetly by his side 
the spring will come by muse and marn the birds be blithesome in the tree i heap the stones to make his cairn where many sleep as sound as he end of poem this recording is in the public domain the young mother by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk in dreadful times of tears and war she sails a little fixed star or like a little ship she glides with gentle winds and favoring tides up to the harbor bar wrapped in all mild tranquillities she muses inward gaze her eyes and lest she slip upon a stone gabriel or some shining one guards her high destinies no rumor reaches her at all beyond her safe encompassing wall of a mad world that slays and slays she sees a little one that plays and sleeps at evenfall she is in the house of life and where she goes the angels bend to her a little secret garden close sweet with the lily and the rose with frankincense and myrrh end of poem this recording is in the public domain the temple by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk what of louvain and of reims made for god by man what then here be temples more than man's wrought by god for his own men scattered in the rain and frost marred of beauty there they be temples of the holy ghost broken ruined piteously bodies all so finely wrought cunning deftness shaped them well these god's ultimate loving thought for his spirit's citadel beautiful from head to foot young dear darlings all unflawed for their mother's kiss what brute dares deface the image of god oh the temple's down all marred gay and golden boys must lie bittersweet as spikenard is the old name we called them by hush god's temple in its fall breaks to set the spirit free from the golden cage and thrall into heaven-winged liberty from the cage the bird is flown sings so high above our sphere hush be never a sigh or moan the fledged bird flies without fear all our loves are gathered in every gay and golden lad on new raiment white and clean they behold god and are glad end of poem this recording is in the public domain the summons by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk v l fourteenth of september nineteen fourteen straight to his death he went a smile on his lips all his life's joy unspent into eclipse the song of the shell he heard cleaving the dark as though twere the song of a bird linnet or lark why would he go so fast out to the dead 
all in a heavenly haste not to be stayed what did he see afar that drew him after light from a merry star singing and laughter nay but a face was his only in dreams only in dreams of bliss in the star gleams nay but a face that watched long years to see who came by the door unlatched if it were he what was the voice before that lured him on oh thou long hungered for my son my son lo he hath heard hath seen he hath slipped over where the great days begin for friend and lover end of poem this recording is in the public domain the little flock by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson christ now keep the little flock which thou badst not to fear chiding women and old folk and the little children dear in this night of hell revealed call them that they run with thee and come out in a green field where they gather round thy knee all poor women that give suck all that are with child lead thou by the margins of a brook where is daisied peace in now christ remember now the sick feeble knees and laughing head when they cry on thee come quick and their sickness shall be stayed where thou temperest the wind where the drenching rains leave off when they run with thee o kind dear they shall be well enough End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Lament by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. For Holy Cross Day, 1914. Clouds is under clouds and rain, for there will not come again to the beloved sire and son whom all gifts were rained upon kindness is all done alas courtesy and grace must pass beauty wit and charm lie dead love no more may wreathe the head now the branch that waves so high no wind tosses to the sky there's no flowering time to come no sweet leafage and no bloom mercy golden hearted boy in the heyday of his joy left his new-made bride and chose the steep way that honor goes took for his deathless song of the love that knows no wrong could i love thee dear so true were not honor more than you oh forgive dear loveless laid in this mean procrustean bed dear i love thee best of all when i go at england's call in our magnificent sky aglow how shall we this percy know where he shines among the suns and the planets and the moons percy died for england why here's a sign to know him by there's one dear and fixed star there's a youngling never far percy and his father keep the old loved companionship and shine downward in one ray where at clouds they wait for day End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Hero by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. September 1914. He was so foolish, the poor lad. He made superior people smile, who knew not of the wings he had budding and growing all the while nor that the laurel wreath was made already for his curly head silly and childish in his ways they said his future comes to naught his future in the dreadful days when in a toil his feet were caught he hacked his way to glory bright before his day 
went into night. He fretted wiser folk, small blame. Such futile, feeble brains were his. Now we doff hats to hear his name, Ask pardon where his spirit is, Because we never guessed him for A hero in the disguise he wore. It matters not how we live, So long as we may greatly die, Fashioned for great things, Oh, forgive our dullness in the days gone by. Now glory wraps you like a cloak From us and all such common folk. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Mid the Piteous Heaps of Dead by Catherine Tynan Hickson Read for LibriVox.org by Drew Conway 22nd of November 2016 Kent Mid the piteous heaps of dead Goes one weary golden head Tossing ever to and fro Calling loud and calling low Mother, mother, step so light Mother, lay your fingers white On my forehead like a dew Mother, mother, where are you? Still so loud he makes his cry that the dying cannot die. All the writhing fields one groan, While he lies and cries alone. But his mother's far away, Cannot hear him cry and say, Mother, I am dying, come. Mother, I am lost from home. Mary, mother of all men, Come and comfort him in pain. Take his young head to the breast, Where your child and God has rest. Mary, Mary, step so light, Mary, lay your fingers white, On his forehead he shall dream That his mother comforts him. Mary, mother, croon him o'er, Lullabies you sung before. Mary, ease him crooning low, in the way that mothers know. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To One in Grief by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. For June 1913. September 1914. Simon the Cyrenian bore the cross of Christ up Calvary Hill. Blessed be Simon's lot before honor and ease and world's good will. You, you would choose his lot above all gifts and glories, yea, all love. Now when for your two glorious men your heart is broken, and your joy on earth shall not be built again, oh, what a lover, what a boy, dear heart, look up. Who helps you on the way that you must walk alone? For when the cross that you must bear galls your poor shoulders till they bleed, and when the thorns are in your hair and love lies bleeding, then indeed one will come stepping light and take the tears, the burden, the heartbreak. Happy is she who to thine ears pours all her lamentations. Yea, when thou dost wipe away her tears and healing words of comfort, say, Thou makest thy cross both sweet and light for souls like hers that walk in white. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Indian Summer by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. This is the sign, this flooding splendor, golden and hyaline, this sun, a golden sea on hill and plain, that God forgets not that he walks with men. His smile is on the mountain and the pool, and all the fairy lakes are beautiful. This 
is the word that makes a thing of flame the water bird this mercy of his fulfilled in the magical clear glow of skies from dawn to evenfall telling his hand is over us that we are not delivered to the insatiable sea this is the pledge the promise writ in gold to the water's edge his bows in heaven and the great floods are over o oh, broken hearts lift up the immortal lover embraces comforts with the enlivening sun the sun he bids stand still till the day is won end of poem this recording is in the public domain to two bereaved for gsc 20th of october rsc 28th of october 1914 by katherine tynan hickson read for librivox.org by drew conway 22nd of november 2016 kent now in your days of worst distress the empty days that stretch before when all your sweets turn bitterness the hand of the Lord is at your door. And when at morn beside your bed, grief waits to tell you it is true, that both your darling boys are dead, the mercy of the Lord bends down to you. When you are frozen and stripped bare, and over your joy is raised a stone, the foot of your Lord is on your stair. The Lord's mercy is never done. More than the joys of common men, the gifts of the Lord are past desire. They shall be given to you again. They shall sit down beside your fire. The young and the laureled head shall shine, making a glory in your days, as a light burns in a secret shrine. The love of the Lord is passing praise. The Lord records not gifts once given. They shall sit down beside your hearth. They shall come in in white new shriven. Make you new heaven and new earth. The will of the Lord is great and good. The cup of your joy shall he brim o'er. They shall come in with life renewed. They shall go out from you no more. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Autumnal by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Ian King. The autumn leaves are dying quietly. Scarlet and orange, underfoot they lie. They had their youth and prime, and now's the dying time. Alas, alas, the young, the beloved, must die. They are dying like the leaves of autumn fast, scattered and broken, blown on every blast. The darling young, the brave, love had no power to save. Poor love lies bleeding loves in ruins downcast alas alas the autumn leaves are flying they had their summer and tis time for dying but these had barely spring love trails a broken wing walks through deserted woods moaning and sighing end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Mediation by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen After St. Anselm If thou, 
lord god willest to judge this thy very piteous clay which to save christ did not grudge his last dying i shall say lord i interpose christ's death twixt these children and thy wrath then if thou shouldst say their shame is as scarlet in mine eyes i shall ask who took their blame look lord on this sacrifice is thy son's blood not more bright which hath washed their scarlet white then if thou thy wrath shouldst keep and thy gaze shouldst still avert from thy son's most piteous sheep i shall ask who bear the hurt i present christ's death and pain twixt thine anger and these men lord they die by millions and they look to thee take thought this dear flock that is thy son's by the richest ransom bought see thy dead son lies between thee the high judge and their sin end of poem this recording is in the public domain the heroes by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk by such strange and wonderful ways god would save his world again all our days are holy days starry heroes all our men there's naught common or unclean in this splendid new-made earth hearts uplifted eyes serene grief goes gayer now than mirth quietly in the sacred night tears must fall o oh, noble tears that are shed in the lord's sight and are only for his ears who would mourn aloud for sons gorgeous in our firmament starry constellations in the way their fathers went from the innumerable grave there will spring a world new-born with the austerest eyes and brave and its clear gaze towards the morn he who gave his son to die for man's purchase gives once more these his beloved sons to buy him a world worth dying for End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Great Mercy by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Betwixt the saddle and the ground was mercy sought and mercy found yea in the twinkling of an eye he cried and thou hast heard his cry between the bullet and its mark thy face made morning in his dark and while the shell sang on its path thou hast run thou hast run preventing death thou hast run before and reached the goal gathered to thee the unhoused soul thou art not bound by time or space so fast death runs thou hast won the race thou hast said to beaten death go tell of victories thou once hadst all's well death here none die but thee and sin now the great days of life begin and to the soul this day i rise and thee with me to paradise betwixt the saddle and the ground was mercy sought and mercy found end of poem this recording is in the public domain Meetings by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Kathleen. As up and down I fare by road and street, the mothers of our men at arms I meet, who die for mine and me, that we go safe and free, sit in the sun, 
sleep soft and find life sweet i have two sons too young to fight too young god grant if my hour comes i may be strong and caught in such a strait may praise god and be great giving my sons to save some woman from wrong o oh, mothers of dead heroes ye i know my heart sends you a greeting soft and low blessed are ye whose sons amid the ransomed ones throng to the banners of heaven as white as snow somehow by some secret and certain sign the mothers of the beloved i divine who died in my son's place my heart kneels and gives grace give thanks for you for you proud sisters of mine end of poem this recording is in the public domain flower of youth by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk lest heaven be thronged with gray beards hoary god who made boys for his delight stoops in a day of grief and glory and calls them in in from the night when they come trooping from the war our skies have many a new gold star heavens thronged with gay and careless faces new waked from dreams of dreadful things they walk in green and pleasant places and by the crystal water springs who dreamt of dying and the slain and the fierce thirst and the strong pain dear boys they shall be young forever the son of god was once a boy they run and leap by a clear river and of their youth they have great joy god who made boys so clean and good smiles with the eyes of fatherhood now heaven is by the young invaded their laughters in the house of god stainless and simple as he made it god keeps the heart of the boy unflawed the old wise saints look on and smile they are so young and without guile oh if the sunless mothers weeping and widowed girls could look inside the glory that hath them in keeping who went to the great war and died they would rise and put their mourning off and say thank god he has enough end of poem this recording is in the public domain unhouseled unanointed unannealed by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk when these men must go alone sans an absolution when their sins are heavy as lead thou thyself wilt lift the head thou high priest wilt whisper low te absolvo ere they go when there is no sacrifice bread and wine for thy disguise come thou in the spirit then as at agincourt our men with desire a blade of grass served as eucharist and mass lay thyself the oil on lips limbs and eyes before the eclipse as once magdalen did to thee and so speed them safe and free to lie down with thee a while and to waken to thy smile they shall sit down at the feast where thou our sacrament and priest end of poem this recording is in the public domain all souls by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by kathleen there's traffic in the world's immortal for many souls are flying home striving and pushing at the portal 
for sight of glorious things to come what rout of wings against the sunset what rosy plumes the dawning bar heavens stormed with gay and happy onset of youngling things home from the war against the inverted cup of azure against the evening peach and green the frolicsome young souls take their pleasure darting the silver darts between though the old nests be sad forsaken the coats of heaven are yet unfilled in trees of heaven as yet untaken the immortal loves lift hearts and build end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Predestined by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk W. E. H. 6th of November, 1914 Dear, we might have known you were to die young, And were we blind to the light on face and hair. Dear, so simple and so kind you were clean as your own sword and as straight too and steel true in the army of the lord what promotion waits for you i can see you where you stand knightly soul so clean so brave with a new sword in your hand where the lilied banners wave flower of simple chivalry marked for honor and for grace it was very plain to see the clear shining of your face you are gone now it's turned cold very good you were and dear wear the looks you wore of old when we meet some other year End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Old Soldier by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. 14th of November, 1914. Lest the young soldiers be strange in heaven god bids the old soldier they all adored come to him and wait for them clean new shriven a happy doorkeeper in the house of the lord lest it abash them the great new splendor lest they affright them the new robes clean god sets an old face there long tried and tender a word and a hand clasp as they troop in my boys he welcomes them and heaven is homely he their great captain in days gone o'er dear is the face of a friend honest and comely as they come home from the war and he at the door end of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Fields of France by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Nous avons chassé ce Jésus Christ. Jesus Christ, they chased away, comes again another day could they do without him then his poor lost unhappy men he returns and is revealed in the trenches and the field where the dead lie thick he goes where the brown earth's red as a rose he who walked the waters wide treads the winepress purple dyed stoops and bids the piteous slain that they rise with him again to his breast and in his cloak bears the younglings of the flock calls his poor sheep to come home 
and his sheep rise up and come they shall rest by a clear pool mid the pastures beautiful jesus christ they chased away has come back another day end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Open Road by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. The roads of the sea are thronged with merchantmen. East and west, north and south, they go and come again. All precious merchandise they bear in their hold, lest the people be starving in the night and cold. Now tell me, good merchants, how this thing can be, that the white ships are thronging the roads of the sea for there's death in the skies and there's death on the earth and men talked of famine and a frozen hearth yet the ships they go crowding the roads of the sea they bring home their treasures to you and me oh listen good people and hearing praise god that the watchdogs are keeping the ships on their road they sit watchful and steady where the north winds blow sleepless they are keeping the roads the ships go in the day, in the hour, they will spring. Until then, their eyes keep the courses of the merchantmen. Forget not, good people, when ye heap the whiteboard, when ye draw the hearth fire to praise the Lord. That the watchdogs unsleeping keep the roads of the sea, up by the northern lights where the great ships be. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. For the Airmen by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. To Maurice Hewlett. Thou who guidest the swallow and wren, keep the paths of the flying men. Over the mountains, over the seas, thou hast given the bird folk compasses. Thou guidest them. Yea, thou leadest them home by the trackless ways and the venturesome. Look thou then on these bird men, far more than the sparrows and swallows are. When they fly in the wintry weather, be their compass and chart together. Keep them riding the wind, uphold their passion of flight, lest it grow cold. Thy right hand be under the wing thy left hand for their steadying the wings of the birds of heaven be nigh lest their wings fail them and they die make thou their flying as deft and fleet as the flight of the linnet or the blue tit thy hand over them shall they fear the spears of lightning or any spear thy hand under them what shall appall not the fierce foe nor the sudden fall show them thy moon at night thy stars bid stand as sentinels in their wars yea make their lone tracks pleasant as a soft meandering path in grass thou that launchest the wren the swallow guard our flying loves when they follow End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Christmas in the Year of the War by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Nevertheless, this year of grief, the tree of God's in leaf. The stem, the branch quickeneth with sap this year of death. For in the time of the flowering thorn, the babe, the babe is born. Christ's folk look up, be not dismayed, the Lord's in the cattle shed. He comes a little trembling one to a world else lost, undone. With his poor folk he wills to stay in this their difficult day. Poor war-worn world, you shall have ease, he signs your lasting peace. He hath given his people rest from wars by the cold light of stars. 
the charter of their peace shall stand writ by his our old hand the tree of paradise quickeneth but still there is no death end of poem this recording is in the public domain a song for the new year by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk nineteen fifteen the year of the sorrows went out with great wind lift up lift up o broken hearts your lord is kind and he shall call his flock home where no storms be into a sheltered haven out of sound of the sea there shall be bright sands there and a milken hill they shall lie in the sun there and drink their fill they shall have dew and shade there and grass to the knee safe in a sheltered haven out of sound of the sea he shall bind their wounds up and their tears shall cease they shall have sweetest pillows and a bed of ease come up come up and hither o little flock saith he ye shall have sheltered havens out of sound of the sea the first day of new year strewed the sea with dead lift up lift up o broken heart and hanging head the lord walks on the waters and a shepherd is he they shall have sheltered havens out of sound of the sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain dead a prisoner by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk he died the loneliest death of all amid his foes he died but someone's leaped the outer wall and someone's come inside and he has gotten a golden key to set the lonesome prisoner free it was not peter with the keys the heavenly janitor who has passed them like a rushing breeze the jailers at the door and to his bosom as a bed has taken the unmothered head a great light in the prison shone that made the people blind rise up rise up new ransomed one and taste the sun and wind for i have gotten a golden key to set all lonesome prisoners free yea they shall soar shall spring aloft their jives shall not be rough but just the links of love so soft that they shall not cast off rise up my dear and come away and they went out to the great day end of poem this recording is in the public domain to r a a by katherine tynan hinkson read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk twentieth october nineteen fourteen twenty fourth february nineteen fifteen was it not a great end wrote your philip with a story of a great deed a great death not foreseeing his own glory and his budding laurel wreaths in the last words he should send phillips followed allen's lead they are gone into the night with the great heroes of old with the stars the stars they are bright they are warm they are not cold they live they are not dead but the silence aches o oh, friend in the darkness cold and stricken for anodyne antidote tell your dead heart that it quicken 
the last words that philip wrote was it not a great end a great end end of poem this recording is in the public domain salutation by katherine tynan hinkson read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk to you and you and you who have given two sons for england's sake what word oh there is weeping heard in heaven and mary's heart has the eighth sword henceforth as you go through the town the folk who see you go and come will doff their hats to your renown with salvata flores martyrum o oh, chosen from all women and men for that high lonely destiny now that we look at you tis plain god set a mark to know you by your cross was growing in the tree before the golden world was made your martyrs palms began to be before let there be light was said and still where'er you come and go the world's the lighter for your load who thinks on common things and lo when your high sorrow takes the road o oh, predestined and pre-elect tis you must bear the glorious scars stand up dear saints white and erect the wounded in the heavenly wars beloved afflicted marked for grace god's folk who watch you go and come call leaning from their paradise place salvata flores martyrum end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Sad Spring by Catherine Tynan Hinkson Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The spring weeps, she is forlorn. Well that she may weep, alas, now that many babes are born, whose dear fathers lie in grass. Snowdrops in the frozen earth faint and are not comforted never was so sad a birth never was so sad a bed she must bear her pangs alone where is sorrow like to hers in an anguish cold as stone her dead soldier's child she bears now her trembling arms will hold close the piteous downy thing to a milky breast as cold as the frozen water spring now she hopes and dreads to find likeness in the little son to his father brave and kind like or not her heart's undone tender nurslings born in pain mother's comfort mother's grief when her tears run down like rain lord bring thou a handkerchief wipe the widow's tears away father orphan boys and girls lead them out where they may play with thy hand upon their curls end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Prayer for Those Who Shall Return by Catherine Tynan Hickson Read for LibriVox.org by Drew Conway 22nd of November, 2016, Kent Lord, when they come back again From the dreadful battlefield To the common ways of men Be thy mercy, Lord, revealed Make them to forget the dread, fields of dying and the dead. 
Let them go unhaunted, Lord, by the sights that they have seen. Guard their dreams from shell and sword, lead them by the pastures green, that they wander all night long in the fields where they were young. Grant no charnel horror slip twixt them and their child's soft face, breast to breast and lip to lip, let the lovers meet and brace. Be thy innocent of all, Memories that affright appall. Let their ears love music still, And their eyes rejoice to see Glory on the sea and hill, Beauty in the flower and tree. Drop a veil that none may raise Over dreadful nights and days. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Resurrection by Catherine Tynan Hinkson. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. Now the golden daffodil lifts from earth his shining head that was lately frozen still in the gardens of the dead. Sing to the Lord a new song roundelays and virelays who hath slain death and is young master of your holidays now from places underground gold and purple folk will go hailed by the shrill trumpet sound from their wormy beds below now the stone is from the tomb now tis easter and the morn christ the lord of life is come hath slain death and life is born christ the lord of life new risen calls the sleepers that they rise from the unnumbered graves break prison follow him to paradise who be then these shining ones dancing with a heavenly mirth the king's daughters the king's sons fairer than the folks of earth graves are busier than a hive the wind blows the sun is warm now the dead are come alive loosed is many a golden swarm sing to the lord a new song the sun's risen in our east christ the lord of life is young and the young sit to the feast end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of flowers of youth poems in wartime by katherine tynan hinkson